Have we been looking at the sky all wrong? For centuries, we assumed we were alone, that our solar system was a closed environment. But did you know that in just the past 10 years, we have confirmed three separate objects entering our system from interstellar space? For billions of years, the official count was zero. Now, it is three. As a scientist, I must follow the data even when it leads to uncomfortable questions. Something extraordinary is unfolding right now in the silent dark beyond Mars. Uh, NASA's latest data has confirmed that the interstellar visitor known as 3i Atlas has a mass so colossal it's sending shockwaves through the scientific community. 33 billion tons, 33 billion tons of alien material traveling through our solar system at unimaginable speed. But here's the question, keeping astrophysicists, my colleagues awake at night, how can something that massive move this fast? And why is it here? What's inside this cosmic giant that even NASA seems hesitant to talk about? Back in July 2025, a telescope in Chile picked up a faint cold shimmer in the night sky. At first, astronomers logged it as just another comet, a streak of light among billions. This is the standard procedure, the conservative assumption. But as the data rolled in, everything changed. The object wasn't orbiting our sun day. It wasn't part of our solar family at all. Its path came from far beyond, traveling at speeds that suggested it was born in another star system. That's when NASA gave it its official name, 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object in human history after Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. But unlike those two, this one is in a league of its own. You see, 3i Atlas doesn't behave like a comet. It doesn't even behave like a rock. My experience with Oumuamua taught me to look for the anomalies, and this object is full of them. As it approached our sun, its brightness suddenly surged more than any model predicted. It started glowing an eerie green, a color that signals the presence of complex molecules and volatile gases. And then came the measurements that shook the scientific consensus. Its mass, 33 billion tons, uh, that's larger than some small moons, heavier than Mount Everest, and dense enough to alter the gravitational field around it. Now, here is the critical point. If this were just a comet, a dirty snowball, as they are often called it, should have broken apart under its own mass and the sun's tidal forces. But 3i Atlas didn't. Instead, it stabilized as if something within it was holding it together. NASA's Hubble telescope detected a teardrop-shaped dust cloud, not trailing behind it like a normal comet's tail, but leading it as though it was carving a path forward. That single observation defies every textbook explanation. In other words, it's not just passing through space, it's moving with intention. I've pointed out something that my colleagues find chilling, the probability of 3i Atlas aligning perfectly with the orbital planes of Venus, Mars, and Jupiter is less than 0.2%. Out of infinite trajectories, it shows this one. It's like throwing a dart blindfolded from another city and hitting a spinning bullseye on the move. Coincidence or calculation? And the timing only deepens the mystery. Between November 21st and December 5th, 3i Atlas will slip behind the sun into what NASA calls a strategic blind spot. During that window, no telescope on Earth can see it. If this were hypothetically an artificial probe, that would be the perfect time to deploy smaller craft without detection. Now, to be clear, that is speculation. But when patterns line up this precisely, even skeptics must pause. Um, think about this. Three interstellar visitors in less than 10 years, for billions of years, none. And suddenly, in our lifetime, three. Why now? Why us? As someone who has watched the universe unfold through the lens of science for decades, I can tell you coincidences in cosmic timing are rare. This sudden influx demands an explanation. Is our detection technology simply better? Yes. 
but is that the only reason or is it possible we are late to a party that has been going on for millennia? The universe moves with purpose. As 3i Atlas moves closer, data from the James Webb Space Telescope revealed something no one expected. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water vapor surrounding it is 8 to 1, one of the highest ever recorded. That chemical mix doesn't match anything we've seen in our solar system. It suggests 3i Atlas was formed in an environment completely alien to ours, perhaps near a dying star or deep within a molecular cloud where light barely reaches. It may have been traveling for millions of years before arriving here, carrying materials older than Earth itself. But the most haunting part, NASA's magnetometers recently picked up subtle fluctuations in the solar wind, a kind of electromagnetic disturbance trailing its path, weak but consistent. To most, it's just noise. But to some researchers, and I count myself among them, it's something more, a potential sign of internal magnetism or energy emissions. Could 3i Atlas be more than an icy rock? Could it be powered even in some ancient decaying way? Uh, it's moments like this that remind us of humanity's smallness and our astonishing curiosity. Many of you watching remember 1969, the moon landing, the hum of the television, the moment humanity took its first steps on another world. You remember the Voyager probe sending back golden records and family portraits of, uh, of our planets. Now, half a century later, we are witnessing something equally profound. Back then, we reached for the stars. Today, the stars are reaching for us. Let's zoom in on the numbers for a moment, because in science, numbers are the language of truth. A mass of 33 billion tons moving at 60 kilometers per second, that's over 130,000 miles per hour. If even a fraction of that energy were released upon impact, it could vaporize continents. Uh, but 3i Atlas isn't heading toward Earth. Instead, it's passing near Mars, creating what NASA calls a data gold mine. This is where we must focus our efforts. Every orbiter, from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to the European Space Agency's ExoMars, is turning its instruments toward it, hoping to capture every photon, every chemical trace. Perseverance even caught a glimpse a faint streak cutting across the Martian sky, matching 3i Atlas's predicted path. If confirmed, that would mark the first interstellar object ever photographed from another planet. Imagine that. A traveler from beyond our sun, seen through the eyes of a robot on Mars, a uh, once in a civilization moment. And yet, despite all this, so much remains unknown. Why did its brightness spike so suddenly? Why does its tail lead instead of trail? And why does it seem to defy the gravitational patterns of ordinary comets? The deeper we look, the more it feels unusual. Not alive in the biological sense, but in the sense of intent. It reacts, it adjusts, almost as if it's responding to its environment. Some scientists suggest the green glow might be a form of photochemical reaction triggered by plasma interactions. This is the safe, conservative hypothesis. But others whisper about more exotic possibilities. Self-regulating structures, interstellar nanotechnology, even remnants of long-dead civilizations. These are the hypotheses we are not supposed to discuss in polite academic company. But I ask you, why not? When an object defies our models, we must be willing to expand our models. We may never know the truth, but here's what we do know. The universe doesn't waste motion. Everything from the smallest particle to the largest galaxy follows patterns written into the very fabric of reality. 3i Atlas is following one too. We just haven't learned to read it yet. And perhaps that's the beauty of this moment. Science thrives not on certainty, but on questions. Questions that make us look up at the night sky and wonder if somewhere someone else is looking back. If this object was launched millions of years ago, who or what set it on its path? Could it be that civilizations far older than ours have found ways to send messages across the galaxy? Not through radio waves, which diffuse and weaken, but through objects. 
bottles in the cosmic ocean, carriers of code, chemistry, and cosmic memory. When I look at 3i Atlas, I don't just see an object. I see a story, a frozen time capsule drifting through the dark, carrying the fingerprints of another world. Maybe it's just ice and dust. My colleagues would prefer that answer. Maybe it's something more. Either way, it's a messenger, a reminder that the universe is far more alive and interconnected than we can comprehend. In the coming weeks, as it approaches its closest point to the Sun, every major telescope from Hubble to JWST will be trained on it. If anything unusual happens, if it fractures, brightens, or emits new spectra, the data could rewrite astrophysics. And yet, there's something poetic in knowing that after December, it will fade from our view, continuing its endless journey back into the cosmic sea, a silent traveler, leaving us to interpret the echo of its passing. As it drifts away, it will leave behind more than just data. It will leave wonder, a sense of connection, a reminder that even after decades of space exploration, the universe can still surprise us. Perhaps that's what keeps us looking up, not just the search for answers, but the joy of not knowing. Maybe one day, when our descendants explore the stars, they'll find where 3i Atlas came from. A distant sun, a forgotten system, or maybe a civilization that once looked up, just as we do now. Until then, all we can do is watch, learn, and keep asking the questions that make us human. The lesson here is one of humility. Science is not a collection of facts we already know. It is the process of bravely facing the things we don't know. We must not be afraid of data that contradicts the consensus. We must not dismiss anomalies just because they are inconvenient or strange. The greatest discoveries in history, from Galileo to Einstein, began when someone dared to question the obvious. That is the true value of 3i Atlas. It forces us to be better scientists. It forces us to be more curious humans. So I ask you, what do you think? Is 3i Atlas a natural wonder or is it something more? Let me know your theory in the comments below. And uh, if you believe in asking the big questions, if you believe that science should be a fearless search for truth, I invite you to subscribe and join the conversation. We must keep looking up. 